Secretary General, Honorable Ministers and Heads of Delegations, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, the Kingdom of Lesotho would like to join other member states to congratulate you, Chairperson, on your appointment to guide this August conference. In the same token, I would like to applaud our host and the people of the United Arab Emirates for their warm hospitality and general welcome. I also commend the ITU and our host for the very considerable logistical achievement of bringing the world together for this uh, plenipotentiary conference and the splendid organization of, the, of this landmark conference. We thank the ITU Secretary General, Mr. Holden Shaw, and his ABLE team for the outstanding work during the past four years. The International Te Telecommunications Union has been a dependable partner of Lesotho. Over the years through this partnership, Lesotho has reaped a lot of benefits from its membership of the union. My country has benefited imm immensely in the areas of policy and legal development, capacity building, cybersecurity, and secure networks, digital economy and e-health, as well as re regulatory best practices and general development of the communication sector. The government of Lesotho recognized that ICT plays a critical role in the economic development and has identified them as one of the four pillars that will drive Lesotho economic growth under its new national strategic development plan for the next five years. It is my country desire to build upon the success of the past years which include extensive mobile network coverage, which is now at 96% of inhabited areas, phone ownership over 79% of the population, teledensity of close to 90%, and broadband penetration of 56%. In line with the Connect 2020 agenda, Lesotho has embarked on an e-government project, which is deploying modern and secure e-government broadband infrastructure. The project is already providing access to some e-services provided by the government departments. We, ha we hope aggressively roll out the e-education programs, especially targeting the primary and secondary schools. On his visit to Lesotho, the Secretary General of ITU promised to assist primary schools in Lesotho with at least 300 desktop computers. We are grateful indeed. This will go a long way in accelerating our efforts of bringing digital divide in Lesotho. My country has also embarked on programs on e-health, e-commerce, as well as e-agriculture. Our successful Universal Service Fund continues to address access gap in unserved and underserved areas of our country. And we are on course to reach the Connect 2020 targets on access to broadband, affordability and bringing the digital divide between urban and rural areas. The above initiatives clearly demonstrate that Lesotho recognizes that digitalization is increasingly and fundamentally changing societies and economy, economies and will affect many economic sectors in the new fourth industrial revolution. We are accelerating our efforts in ensuring that our digitization programs cover every aspect of our economy. In this manner, we are confident that we meet our SDGs target, in particular SDG 9 and related SDGs. Chair, through Lesotho, though Lesotho is, develop, is a developing country, it is a classic example of success in the communication sector in a liberalized market. Through private sector investment, government support, and independent regulation, the people of Lesotho are now enjoying the advanced communication services. To demonstrate this, in a few months ago, one of our operators launched the first commercial 5G services in Africa in Lesotho. These achievements are, however, not without challenges. Two months ago, the ITU Secretary General, Mr. Shaw, witnessed firsthand the difficult conditions under which we develop communication infrastructure. The landscape of my country is dominated by difficult mountain terrain, 
underdeveloped road and electricity networks are sparsely populated rural areas which make investment in communication service an expensive undertaking. Being landlocked, Lesotho has to rely on backhaul facilities from its only neighbor, South Africa, for international bandwidth, and prices of these services are sometimes high. Finally, we reaffirm the commitment and availability of government of Lesotho to continue participating actively in ITU activities and contributing to the achievement of objectives of the union. Ladies and gentlemen, delegates, as the Kingdom of, of Lesotho, we are not contesting any of the ITU positions now. However, we will fully participate in the elections with the hope that all member states that will vote for our candidates in the next ITU elections in 2022. I thank you for your attention.